Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Andrada and I am an artist from Romania. This week I was planning on drawing on my tablet in a cafe as my artist date, but I really wasn't in the mood to film outside, so I filmed this really cute illustration of a bunny eating some juicy strawberries. I am in the middle of the 12-week challenge of The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron and in this new chapter she talks about abundance and money. I have to confess that I didn't agree with everything that Julia has to say about money in this chapter. She starts off by relating God and money. She believes that we don't have to separate the two. She also says, and I quote, we will pursue our art when we have enough money to do it easily. And when will that be? We want a God that feels like a fat paycheck and a license to spend as we please. Listening to the siren song of more, we are deaf to the still small voice waiting in our soul to whisper, you're enough. We cling to our financial concerns as a way to avoid not only our art but also our spiritual growth. Our faith is in the dollar. I have to keep a roof over my head, we say. Nobody's going to pay me to be more creative. So basically she says that we don't need heaps of money to be creative. The abundance is in our creativity, not in the money we spend on supplies. She also says that we equate difficulty with virtue and whatever comes to us easily is a cheap trick, child's play, or nothing serious. This is the part I really resonate with because it's so so true. A real job is one that is breaking us, that we must take seriously, that stresses us out. I feel like in this modern society we compete in victimhood. Who suffers more is worthy of praise. God forbid we do jobs that we love, have normal working hours or social life outside work, and time to be creative and playful. Talent and passion are seen as silly, something you do on the side of real life, when it should be the other way around. Having jobs we are passionate about and that come easily to us should be the norm. The idea that I disagree with, however, is in uh, this paragraph. What we really want to do is what we are really meant to do. When we do what we are meant to do, money comes to us, doors open for us, we feel useful and the work we do feels like play to us." End of quote. While I do agree that we are meant to do what we are passionate about and what feels like play, as I've stated earlier, we live in a society that celebrates other ways of living more and it's actually very hard to make money as an artist. The work itself might feel easy, but living is not. We all know the many hats we need to wear in a creative business. Sales expert, marketing director, social media manager, office administrator, accountant, content creator. When we start out, we can't delegate these jobs to someone else so that we can focus on creating our best work and so many times we feel like we do everything right and still the returns are closer to zero. Many of us need to start out while we still have our full-time or part-time jobs that pay the bills and create whenever we find a bit of time and energy. However, even if we don't make money right away, I still think we should hone our creativity and invest in that. She goes on to talk about the idea of luxury and living luxuriously, and this is another thing that I agree with. Luxury has nothing to do with fat paychecks, villas, cars, brand clothes or whatever, but has everything to do with what we do for ourselves. Time spent with family and friends, books, trying new art supplies, subscribing to someone we appreciate on Patreon for example and many other little things we do for our own enjoyment. I am sure we all heard people say to others, if you don't have money, why do you buy books or coffee or go to the movies or whatever, and it comes again from the idea that people with less money should do what they must 
should suffer and deny themselves any pleasant activity instead of complaining and only when uh, you have a lot of money can you start enjoying life and afford to be creative and I really hate when people think like this because life and living is for everyone and that is abundance in my opinion and I am not saying having money is a bad thing not at all money solves all kinds of problems but as I am far from living a life of material abundance I resorted to Sims 4 money to make some of my dreams come true if I had all the money in the world after paying mortgages buying a better car fixing stuff around the house and helping my family I obviously thought about buying all the books, having a studio, a garden, a pool for my husband because I hate water and that leads to buying a house so I built my dream home in Sims 4. I played for hours and had the best of fun. I'm inserting some pictures here, there's still work to do though. But can you imagine the amount of work managing a house like that entails? We'd need someone to help us. But it was a lot of fun anyway and very relaxing and creative. I am also super proud of this illustration. I saw a reel on Instagram of this cute bunny eating strawberries so I took a screenshot and drew it. It's one of my favorite illustrations honestly. I love how I created depth and the colors that I used and how loose I was. I wish I'd always paint like this. Well, even better than this, but in this style, I guess. I wonder if anyone else can see the difference between other illustrations and this one. And I think maybe it's not as visible as I see it. To me, it felt different. I also added some elements digitally, as you will see at the end of the video. I really hope you like this one too. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end and listening to me talk. Sometimes I feel really self-conscious about it. Like, why on earth would anyone listen to me talk about stuff? But I try to focus on sharing something that could be useful to you as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want, take a look at my other videos. And if you find my content for your taste, consider subscribing to my channel. Your feedback is very valuable to me. So I'll wait for you in the comment section if you feel like talking. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.